Alright, hey, what's up, you guys? Uh, it's me again. Um, we're gonna get right into it. Um, this is a Cian Var EP review. Um, so yeah, let's shoot on in. Okay, so the first song of this EP is Chest Pressure. Um, so far, I like the lyrics. It's like, when it starts, you and I are calmly drinking gasoline until one of us sneezes on the candle, kindling out lust for violent words. Which is great. I like hearing that. And it's like, candle, kindling our lust for violent words. I like that a lot. Um... So, this is a really good song. The first question is, what, uh, what, which is your favorite song of the album? And, so far, from what I've heard, I have one song in mind, and that's probably going to be, there's only a five track album, so for a while, I think Your Tongue Ties is my favorite song. Uh, there's a lot of things that go into being my favorite song, um, the energy of the song, like it has to be kind of like, highly up there, like fast makes you want to like move around and dance or you know mosh whatever uh, other things that can go into it uh, the lyrics are the lyrics you know they pertain to an idea that goes along with the beat like if it's high energy you know it could be a lot about many things you can be it's, it's a lot of passion in a fast song so if you're angry about something but mostly the lyrics should be about something um, on the fantastic side of things. Uh, I like when lyrics kind of sneak in homages to uh, to sensual things. Let's say that without being overly dramatic about what I want the song to. Uh, unveil to the audience you know it's kind of hidden in there it's kind of very hinting at the idea rather than you know being so upfront about it I like when songs do that lyrics are, are great kind of I guess metaphors are really cool uh, another thing is that if it's exciting or it brings memories that maybe I haven't even had yet that's kind of a weird kind of a weird thing to say like how can you have memories you've never had I don't know, guys. That's a it's a good question. Um, I I don't really know, but it's something to like mention as far as music goes. Uh, let's see, muse, muse, mood, maybe. That says. Oh, uh, it makes making the audience feel dangerous. Like not in danger, one that can confuse, but like dangerous. I think chest pressure kind of did that towards the end. I want to rewind this a little bit. Cause they hypnotics, hypno, hypnos, hypno, hypnosis is uh something kind of up there with like you know dangerous things. So yeah, 
Uh, I think. Is this worth getting off my chest? And then, I am the leech. I am the leech. Living in the wrong conditions. Have you tasted the gasoline? I am the leech. Yeah, like that. That's definitely among the things that I would like in a favorite song. Um, now, with that being said, the song is kind of... I don't really know how to just how to tell you how the song affects me. Um, it's it's kind of like it's fast energy, it's fast paced. It's really angry. Definitely get that. Overall, I think I I dig it. And then we have this next song, which is Sick Machine. And the next question is so yeah, uh, let me let me jump into it. Let me actually play the song. It's my favorite song, real quick. All right. So, according to my opinion, my favorite song is. Did you want to my favorite song is. Your tongue ties. Now let's go ahead and play this real quick so I can get an idea of why, maybe why I chose that song. Then we'll that song in a second. All right. Okay, so the lyrics are clear this up. You're a gem for all to see, but when you open your mouth, we wish you, we all wish you'd stop. Breathing intriguing, one sinking to me, get off, intriguing one. All this talk's no fun. Okay, yeah, I like this song. I think it's because of the big words. I mean, it's not completely big words, but in, when he says intriguing, and he repeats to say intriguing one. I like that he says all oh, this talk's no fun. Like I said, hinting, hinting some stuff. Like, like if you were to listen to the song while like kissing someone or something it would uh, probably excite be exciting anyway so definitely understand why I chose that song lyrics the beat it's, it's a little bit uh, it's not exactly on the lit the top of the top uh, uh, fastest songs but I definitely like it. And the next question is, how many tracks are there? I still mentioned that in the beginning. Uh, there's, it's a five track album, so there's about five songs on here. Uh, who is it closely related to? Um, to me, uh, it's giving me like a more impressive Circus Survive. Like Circus Survive is really impressive. On its own, it's really good. But, there's a lot more guitar uh, guitar spells in this that Circus Survive just has a lot of energy I remember Circus Survive having a lot of energy and that's why I dig them uh, which which song has the best lyrics uh, song with the best lyrics let's see
Mm, maybe not that one. Okay, so as far as lyrics goes, tongue, your tongue ties, probably not. virtual vein <laughs> two seconds guys two seconds so virtual vein I'm playing it right now uh, tensions are building okay this one this one has a lot of energy it's reminding me reminding me of a uh, little bit of DGD just a little bit Probably like carve. Carve is a. This is what this reminded me of. So, fuck what I'm saying. The masses are busy getting off. Fed illusion, real delusion. Go reveal yourself to me. I can read everything you say. We're all on display. Bold statements with photographs. Thousands of eyes can trace. Words aiding the pictograph. Written on the walls in space. Who killed the culprit? Who shot him down? I felt everything around me move. The time it took to get away. Tensions are building inside of the vacant warehouse. Idealism is changing and what's important is really not. Fuck what I'm saying, the masses are getting off. Damaged ego, broken stitches, nothing gold can stay. Bring to life your name. Damaged stitches, broken ego, nothing gold can stay. Okay, so far, I'm really digging this. These lyrics from Virtual Vein. Uh... Let's see, substance sequence. Substance sequence is pretty good too. Uh, I'll leave a description of all the songs um, and a link to the actual EP so you can listen to it yourself. Ooh, substance sequence is really good. I love how it starts out. Love how it starts out. Really giving me this letting go vibes that I I loved and uh, have nostalgia with from on letting go. <laughs> Too many days, muscles aching, routine lacking. I get away. Insert substance sequence. Cameras what? Paranoid, dark evolution. This is a really good song. Substance Sequence is a really good song. Lesser now, lesser now. This is a really good song, but I'm gonna have to choose. I'm gonna have to go with what I said before. Virtual, Virtual Vein has really good lyrics. It's almost like reading a book, in my opinion. So Virtual Vein definitely has a has the best lyrics in my opinion um, what song is the most creative uh, I think substance sequence I think substance sequence has a lot more creativity it's talking about dark oceans and you know substance sequence I'm gonna have to give that to substance sequence uh, we'll listen to it one more time just so you know I'm not biased oh, no, this side's not letting me do it Okay, we're we're doing good on time, you guys. Um, man, this is a really good album. Uh, self-titled album, Stanvar EP. Uh, it's only five tracks, but there's a lot of good songs. And if you get if you uh, finish off with that one, they do have another one. Uh, it's called Stay Lost. They just put it out. Um, it's really good too, and there's a lot more songs than that, so you don't have to feel like you're deprived of Sandbar if you really like them. Apparently, I was reading online a couple. I did some background work on uh, this this band, and pretty much they were talking about how this is a band from that's made up of members of all these other bands. It's like a lot like Birds, uh, Dance Given Dance, um, Hail the Sun, 
uh, I feel like I'm missing one. Sorry, but yeah, point is, this is one of those super bands, and unlike Isles and Glaciers, this one is actually like it's not. And this is what I read. They said that oh, Isles and Glaciers is kind of overpowering, while this one is kind of like a calm. You know, it, it's just, uh, out of all the super bands, this one kind of did a good job. So, kudos to uh, San Var. They did a really good job. Uh, it's more of a creative outlet rather than like letting their creative differences get in the way of their other anchor bands, which I thought was great too. I think that's a good idea. And plus, it's really awesome that they did this. This was a great, great band. I saw them live. Uh, there's a video in my channel called Southpaw uh, slash Southpaw Sonata slash Sandbar uh, Concert. That's uh, the show I went to see them. And uh, I don't have any videos because I don't own anything to be able to do so. So I'm sorry. I'm doing my best not to get in trouble with copyrights as well as give you the best content. So yeah, the uh, too many days, muscles aching, routine lacking, a getaway, insert substance sequence, cameras watching, actors acting. I'm gonna listen to this full song. Toxic level danger, destructive behavior, common sense distancing. Super Ave takes me, Magnolia Ave takes me, muscles aching. I like this one. When I would do, um, no, I, I no way promote any illegal substances or um, uh, unprescribed medicines. But in back in back when I was uh, in my teenager days. I would uh, abuse uh, certain uh, certain certain things, and um, I remember having a lot of muscle aches. So the song is definitely really good and creative in that sense that it keeps inside the idea of what they're talking about. If it was a little more crazier, then I would understand. Like, Dance Come and Dance is really high-paced and, like, kind of really energetic and kind of not really standstill. So all of the lyrics that they bounce around, which they kind of go back from one idea to completely out of their own norm, mm -hmm. which is what I like. Um, so, yeah. I don't, I don't listen, I don't know, I don't know what prep poops is. Anyways, um, overall, out of, I give this a 4 out of 5. Actually, no, I give it a 5 out of 5. 5 out of 5, because I really like this. I, I love it. Do I love it? Dang it, nope. I can't say that I... Yeah, I'm going to say 4 out of 5 because I really like this one. There was a song on uh, their other album that I I loved. Their other album. If I do a review on that one, I'll tell you what my opinion is on that. Anyways, um, stick around for my next video. I'm going to be doing a EDM session. So it's going to be kind of cool. Uh, so yeah, don't forget to subscribe, give this uh, video a nice big thumbs up, and yeah, have a blessed day. Have an awesome day, I guess. Peace.